Hello, hello, tell me why you cry and why you lie to me. Tell me why. Today we see now Moses is in Egypt with the Jewish people and they are in abject slavery. Moses says, don't worry, we got God on our side and we're going to get out of this place. People are filled with optimism and hope. Next, Moses goes to the head of Egypt, to Pharaoh, and he says, let my people go. But Pharaoh will have none of this. On the contrary, he says, I'm going to make their work harder. The Jewish people will have more rigorous labor now. Things are getting worse. Moses turns to God and he says, tell me why. Why? Why are the people being mistreated? And why did you send me here in the first place? Now, the question is, is Moses condemning God, or is he registering a complaint to God? You know, in relationships, actually the most sacred relationship, the marriage relationship, it's important to make sure we stay out of the world of condemnation, condemnation and we stay in the world of complaint and clarification. They say that even the best of marriages has two or three complaints per week. It's how the how the couple navigates through it is what counts. Sometimes, tragically, a spouse will condemn the other spouse, point out what they are lacking, use cruel wit or sarcasm. That only poisons a relationship. No, what we need is healthy complaints, clarification, words given with kindness and thoughtfulness. We have to make sure we stay away from destructive condemnation, and instead we use loving complaints and clarification. Tell me why, tell me why, with love and thoughtfulness.